<laughs> yes. Hi. Yeah. It's so fun to be you. Yeah. And now uh, we're going to read our first comments. Let's see. Mama said, hello, mga kakampi. Happy watching. Shout out to Tito Nel Talavera. Shout out to Sis Day Manego. Shout out to Sis Mace Italan. Hello, Tita Mace, if you are watching right and, now. And Kuya Maynard. Hi, Kuya Maynard, if you are watching. Yeah. Sorry ka. Shout out to Auntie Emily and to Auntie Helen. Also to Tita Mariah Elizabeth. To Tito Arlene Soriano and, and to Tito Greg Gabang. Yeah, and also <laughs> shout out to Ate Donna. Yeah, shout out to Ate Donna. So, guess what? It's time to invite, to invite our, our guest. guest. Yeah, our special guest yeah. for today. <laughs> Let's just read the credentials. So, our special guest for today is a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering graduated 1963. He is also a Philippine President Awardee of Most a Promising Invention, Philips, Philips, Philippines Awardee Most Promising Invention. He is internationally recognized inventor and also a member of Filipino Inventor Society. He is a president, and he is also uh, part of the president Mahalin Ambayan Foundation INC of Environmentalist Global Warming Lecturer. He is also part of the proponent Global Warming Pushback Drive Philippines and Mankind Quest for Survival, and also a researcher of A, human immune system, B, global atmospheric carbon dioxide reduction, and C, renewable energy sources of power. Yes, that was so great. And here is a background of his life. Uh, our special guest sent this to us yesterday and we're going to read it to you mga kakampi so he said while growing up in a family farm in Bicol, philippines the love of trees forest biodiversity ecology and environment environmental protection was awakened in me i worked for bureau of plant industry to support my engineering studies and spent 23 years working overseas. My worldwide travel strengthened my resolve to devote my life for what little I can contribute to help stop global pollution. After my employment wow. as a flight engineer with one of the most powerful family in Saudi Arabia in 1986 devoted 34 full years full-time working on inventions, plant cloning, research on cheap meat productions, and power generation. Wow, that's exciting, right, mga kakampi? Right, Jana? Yeah. Yeah, we're so excited to meet our special guest. So let's all welcome Engineer Isidro Umali Ursua. Welcome to the show, Pa. Hello. Good Happy evening and good morning. Words. Yeah, good evening and good morning, Pa. Oh, we got some Yes, okay, thank you very much. Shall I come in now? Yeah, okay. Sure. I am, sure. Yes, I am an engineer by profession. And uh, while I was studying, I realized I was just living in a small room. I just realized some 60 years ago that the world would be just like the room where we were staying. Uh, we cook there. And you know what happened? The smoke is suffocating us. So I realized that the world would be just the same as that little room. So from then on, I put my mind into doing something to make possible to control carbon dioxide production by cooking, by transportation, uh, all the things we do in a modern world. 
produces carbon dioxide. Right now, uh, the world is producing about 38 billion tons of carbon dioxide. You know what does that to the world? Okay. Ah, 24% of the carbon dioxide drops on the ocean. And once it drops in the ocean, it's slowly changing the pH, the activity of uh, carbon in, in the ocean. It is slowly becoming acidic. Okay. Now, the pH of the ocean is about 8. Slowly going down and going down and going down because of carbon dioxide. It's changing the ocean into carbonic acid. And you know what will happen? Ultimately, the ocean will become acidic. And the algae that produces 60% of all the oxygen we breathe, really because of oxygen, without oxygen, we die. Okay. Uh, when it becomes acidic, it will kill all the algae that produces 60% of the world's oxygen. If we reduce that one, now the oxygen is about 21% of the atmosphere. Once it reduced to 19.5 or 19, that will be the lowest possible for us to be able to live. But at that time, when the oxygen reaches about, say, 16, all the sick people will die. When I talk about this, I cry. I cry. Because we humans doesn't understand that we are killing ourselves. When it goes below to 19, then slowly, your children, my children, grandchildren will suffocate. This is a very dangerous thing. So I want you all to unite. All people that are hearing me today, share, share this awareness to the world. Otherwise, I was the man who predicted the coming of Super Typhoon Yolanda three months before it happened. I requested the president by then uh, to be given a chance to talk to them for just two minutes to awaken them that something very bad is going to happen. I told them that the velocity, three months before it happened, I told them that the velocity of the wind of this typhoon that's coming will be 300 kilometers per hour. Three months April, before it came, okay. it, is, it is fully recorded. So, uh, what I want you to do is to listen to this program carefully and share and share this program so that you can propagate the knowledge about the danger that we are coming in. If we cannot stop this today, we have to start now. Because in 40 years, the condition of the world will be irreversible. The habitat that supports all life will be gone. Go ahead, Faith. Okay, yeah. so thank you, Pa Engineer Isidro, for telling us about that. So before you can continue talking about that topic, uh, we're going to show you guys a, a, a video. Trip. Yeah, a surprise video. Let's and start. I'm just excited. Let's start it. Yeah, let's start. has been in 
in this in this interview he you will see that he will talk some things about about some indication of things so let's just get it get to it but let's start several alternative sources of energy have already been presented but do you actually know there's electricity that can be generated from tidal waves one filipino inventor has figured out a way of extracting large amounts of power from tidal flow economically the inventor has developed a turbine which can convert tidal flow into power without the use of permanently situated infrastructure the result power that's several times cheaper than the one we're buying now how is this made possible with us in the studio is mr isidro umali ursua magandang hapon po sa inyo magandang hapon po sa inyo at magandang hapon po pilipinas okay no so this is very interesting no ang pangalan ng inyong invention is skylar Skyla oh ito ay isang turbine yeah. no and it uses uh lunar power how does this work when the moon moves around the earth it drags the fluid on the surface of the Even earth. In dagat, no? Yes, and that causes a tidal flow. The tidal flow is too slow, but uh, for present technology, but mm -hmm. because of the Skylar turbine, we were able to really harness this mm -hmm. and to really a source of energy. Mm -hmm. Not, tidal flow is only about three miles an hour. Yes, and maximum we can harness. Kung walang ko, more or less yun yun, no? three yes. miles an hour. So how, how, how do you convert that into something uh, that has more pressure? Yeah, the linear movement of the fluid actually is converted into rotational movement uh, by the turbine, the Skylar turbine. Uh, the and those are one of the interviews that I showed you. There is another part. Yeah, I think just caught it. Yes, there it is, part. You are what you watch. Hello, my name is Harry Tambuato, and you are watching Talk to Harry. Now, as I start this episode, I'd like you to sit back and think, what would this world be like today if we never, ever heard of Thomas Edison? Can you imagine if the world never discovered this inventor who brought the light bulb into this world, not country, the world. Can you imagine the world today without lights? No cars? Oh, I'm sure we would discover another inventor who discover something else. What would the world be like without inventors? It's so easy to say, hey, climate change, peak oil. It's so easy to say, uh, yeah, I understand the ozone. I understand all of this, but how do we go about doing this? I'll give you a solution. I'll answer that question is by listening. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest for this episode, we have, well, it's a very heavy subject. It's an invention, but not just a, an invention, but it's a, let's see, a mitigating, how would you put it, concept that can change the world. And believe me, a Filipino, yes. The inventor is the engineer, Sid Orsuos, of this idea of yours, which is called the Skyla Turbine. So I named the project to show the Skylab project. Sid, tell us about it. Well, as you were saying, there are two basic problems in this world, in this century. Mm -hmm. First, there will be an oil crisis, whether we like it or not. It already is here. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> correct, correct, correct. In fact, um, Matthew Simmons was saying, he is the one that wrote uh, Twilight in the Desert. In fact, uh, Sheikh Yamani was saying, uh, this is a, a minister of oil of Saudi Arabia that the Stone Age came to an end, not for lack of stone. And the oil is going to end, not for lack of oil. Okay. The Skyla project, okay, there are basically many sources of energy. But to be able to make this power production as clean as possible, it has to come from renewable sources. Yeah. So this government, this administration has been very successful in producing close to 50 to 60 mini hydroelectric plants. That's fantastic. Keep going. But limited. Correct. We've introduced air in Bangui. Ang problema, ang ihip ng mundo, pag, pag gumagano, nawawala kung minsan-minsan. Correct. Kaya na tumitigil yung mga place, nawawala yung turbine. 
And then let's see, solar. Ah, yes, we have one of the biggest productions now in Montalban, the solar power plant there, but it's all exported to Saudi Arabia and it's too expensive. And the payback for a single house now was about eight, nine years with an investment of 1.5 million for each of us to use. Ooh. This project, the Skylar project, is what they call tidal current under the water, and the wave, the above. Please continue your power plan. Okay. Uh, to be able for, to save the world, we have to derive power from renewable energy. But the problem is like this, okay? Uh, there are just four basic renewable sources of energy. You have the wind, you have the solar, you have the dam, the river, and the tidal power. That's it. That's Wala it. Na. Yun lang four sources. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, but you should consider in creating a machine that will solve the basic problem of this millennium. There are two things, energy and environment. If we just stop burning uh, fossil fuel within 30 years, the world will not be the same as what it is now. They will have a crack on the ground as big as a meter. And the big typhoons, that's too strong. Climate change. Oh yes. my God. Okay. 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 So as I was saying, uh, we will show you a technology that can solve all this problem basically because uh, it is a source of energy that is limitless. America burns 21 million barrels a day. 21 million barrels a day. Okay, can I talk? Go ahead, Bob. Uh, before you, you were shown actually the world before the coming of man. And it was a paradise. Everything was in balance. The typhoon was so slow, not strong enough. And uh, the, the, the food that you eat from the ground, from the trees, full of elements and vitamins. Now we're destroying our earth. You see the next photo, you can see that, that the world is slowly burning. You know what will happen? The ocean will, will expand. The thermal expansion will put Manila underwater. So, uh, you have seen the things that's going to happen. I predicted that there would be crack in the ground as big as a meter. It happened in Batangas just recently because of the typhoon. It was in fact too deep, about 30 feet deep or more. Well, go ahead, Faith. Okay, so before you will continue with your topic, Pa, um, I have a question for you. So my question is, my question is that, uh, can you tell us about your Skyla project? Because we want to know more about it. Because we heard that you had a project called Skyla. Okay, ahead, thank you very much. Actually, Skyla is my granddaughter. She's now a scholar in UP. I love her so much. So I dedicated this turbine to her because I love my children, my children's children, then children's children after that. If we do not start now to spread awareness, then nothing we can do. Okay, the scarlet turbine, okay, there are many ways of producing power. You have the sun, but the sun is a low density source of power. It's not strong enough. Okay, you have the wind. It is also a low density of power. They are not economically viable. It cannot stop the production of oil, gasoline, fossil fuel. It cannot. So if we do not stop producing carbon dioxide, for every atom of carbon, it traps from the atmosphere two atoms. That's why it's CO2. So two atomic elements up uh, uh, atomic uh, uh, is taken by the carbon to produce carbon dioxide we have to stop producing power from atomic and producing a uh, carbon dioxide if we cannot do that civilization will stop so i want you all i want you all please help this uh sisters group faith and the little girl Without this is spreading this is thing, Jana. without th these people spreading this thing, spreading awareness, you will not understand that civilization is doomed. Hundred years from now, the 
the habitat that supports all life will be gone forever. So we cannot do anything. Go ahead, Faith. Okay. Thank you, Pa, for telling us about that topic. So we're going to move on to the next question. What is the difference between climate change and global warming? Okay. Uh, uh, people, the newsman doesn't understand that climate change and global warming are two different things. Climate change is due, due to the rotation of the earth around the sun. Uh, it produces variation and uh, variation of climate. It, there is actually a, 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 a glacial period that's 100 to 150 years wherein the ice comes in, it, the world becomes cooler, uh, ice comes in, it, Antarctica becomes bigger. The interglacial period. Interglacial period is the period between two glacial period. It's about 25, 30 years. Okay. Uh, climate change is a natural occurrence. We cannot do anything about that. It has something to do with the rotation of the earth around the sun. We cannot do anything about that. But global warming is anthropogenic. When I say anthropogenic, it is made by man. As I've said, uh, 38 billion tons of carbon dioxide are produced globally. Okay. 50% goes to the atmosphere. It wraps around the earth, preventing the heat from coming out. When the sun hits the earth, it soaks in heat. And it cannot reflect back because of the carbon dioxide. So the earth is becoming hotter and hotter. I could say that we're closer, becoming closer, closer to hell. This will actually cause a, a powerful typhoons. Okay. Uh, there are actually three basic typhoons. Uh, the one that comes from our eastern side are called typhoons. They originate, uh, the world has an equator. Okay. The world has an equator. Uh, it is an imaginary line separating the North Pole uh, this, no, the southern side and northern side. Uh, all typhoon starts 15 degrees below or above the equator. We call it typhoon. Uh, uh, it's stronger, it's becoming stronger and stronger. In planet Jupiter, the, the typhoon is 644 kilometers per hour. In hot does not stop since 10 years ago. It just keep on running back and forth, back and forth. That is the same thing that's going to happen to us. Here in the Indian, Indian Ocean, they call it, oh, what's this? In America, they call it hurricane. But they are this, the same small thing. When the ocean becomes hit hotter, say about, uh, about 1,000 square kilometers, uh, the heat actually uh, heats up the air, causes the air to become lesser density. It goes up. When it goes up like that, uh, since the earth is rotating and... Uh, Outside of that 1,000 square kilometers, it's hotter, uh, it's cooler. So the air is heavier. There's no place for the light air except to go up. When it goes up, because of the Coriolis effect, when you open your faucet, you will see that the water is turning clockwise if you're in the North Pole. If you go to the South Pole, it's counterclockwise. But anyway, this drives the typhoon. It siphons the, the hot air, drives it, make it climb up, and because of the circling effect of the bomb, the Coriolis effect produces the typhoon. It will create so much power that will actually collapse the economy. Why? It will destroy all bridges. It will destroy all houses. It will destroy the agricultural uh, sector. So what will happen? In 40 years, there will be famine. Okay. Oh, so if there is famine... There will be hunger. Aha, this is famine, hunger. Then there will be unrest. Then there will be war. Revolution. Go ahead. Okay, so thank you, Pa, for telling us about that. I so, that yeah, so, Engineer Sid, as a break, can you, can you give us a uh, re rendition of you playing your musical instrument? Okay, okay. I do not really, I'm not good. But it is my, my brother who invented this. It has won many awards outside of the country. 
me, I am sintonado. I'm out of tune. But I will try, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, that was wonderful, Pa. So this time, Jana is going to sing a song. Are you ready, Jana? Oh, yes. So Jana is going to sing Yesterday's Dream by Donna Cruz. I hope you mga kakampi will enjoy. Go, 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 Jana! Dream. 
I really love it that I keep up the good work. Look, Auntie, look, Auntie Helen is saying, Go, my ina anak. Kuya Mark said, Go, Jana. Nice. Go, keep do it, Jana. Yes, thank you. Atita Arby said, Hello, Ate Faith and Jana. Hello, Tita Arby. So, we're going to continue with our topic, pa, Engineer Isidra. Perfect. I get that song. Okay, okay. So, Engineer Isidro, I have another question. Go ahead. Why does global warming matters? Yes, okay. I have already said, I've already discussed that actually. There are uh, many things that's going to happen. First, the typhoon will become stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay. Next is. Oh, are you still there? Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh? Next, okay. Yes. Uh, you can see it now. The world is becoming hotter and hotter. This is the reason why typhoon becomes stronger. Okay. Not only that, once the agricultural sector, once we kill the trees, kill the plantation, it will make the farmer go hungry. And we, uh, when, when people become hungry, they will revolt. Nobody can stop uh, the rebels in the rebels, the NPA. Nobody can stop that by the use of military weapons. No. You have to make the nation progressive so that the cause of insurgency are uh, many things. First is there has to be food. If there is no food, uh, Makabila said, hunger no no law. If you are hungry, you fight even the devil. Okay. Uh, next is, in other countries, like America, Australia, or if England, if children are walking around at the time when it is a school hour, they will be caught and the mother will be persecuted. Why? Because the children are supposed to go to school free. Okay. Uh, next is injustice. If there is injustice like Kusitarok, he became a balahap. Why? He won as a congressman. He was not allowed to, to sit. So those reasons we cannot do anything about uh, except to make the country progressive. And we cannot become progressive unless there is technology. So you have to spread this uh, global warming so that people will change their ways of producing power. That's all. Okay. okay. So before we will proceed, can you tell us some things about this? About? Close to my fuel, The fuel cell, how okay, it Okay, yeah, okay, works. okay. Okay. The problem of the world. Nobody knows how to produce cheap power. Nobody. That's why there is no solution to global warming. But once you can produce power that has no smoke, which doesn't produce carbon, uh, to produce actually carbon dioxide, when you produce fire, it is made of triangle. One is source of fuel. Next is heat. And the third is oxygen. But when you burn carbon, it's becomes carbon dioxide as you can see in here this machine is the one used by toyota the most modern car in the world it's called mirage and this has been used uh in the rocket ship for producing power in the instrument of the rocket ship okay uh, once you hydrogen actually is, is basically connected to other elements like okay? water h2o it's connected there you have to break it up and get hydrogen in America, they can produce hydrogen, but they do it by, uh, they call it uh, separating carbon from fossil fuel, methane gas reforming. America produces about 10 million tons of uh, hydrogen because it is being used to produce fertilizer. Okay. Oh. Once we cannot stop uh, producing carbon, then we have a problem. But if we can find a solution, a source of energy that can break up water to make it hydrogen and oxygen, then this fuel cell will be used by all cars. And what will come out, okay? Hydrogen comes in, split 
they split the atoms. Uh, one goes to run the electricity. Electricity is the flow of electron. So it lights the bulb, it drives the car, it drives the boat, it drives the truck, it drives MRT, it drives your cell phone, everything. Then it will suck in air. Uh, inside, the air will be extracted, connected to the hydrogen. It will come out hot water. This is the only way, no other way to save the world. That's it. So you have to use this machine. But the problem is nobody in the world can produce a power big enough to replace fossil fuel. The okay. Filipinos have this technology. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for telling us about that. That was very informative. So for, before we are going to continue to the next topic, I want to give a shout out to Tito Nel Talavera. He Here. said, very yeah. informative. Hello, po, Tito Nel Talavera. Happy watching, pa. And hello to Tito Lay. Shout out to Queen Gisia. Hello, okay, baby let's Faith. just say thank you, Paul, Clean Jessia. Hello, baby Faith. Shout out to William and shout out to Kuya Mark, to Tito RB, to Auntie Helen, and also to the other viewers who yeah. are watching right now. Hello. hello, no, hello, Tito Noel. Shout out to uh. Papa. To Papa and to Kuya Maynard. Happy watching po, Kuya Maynard. Sawarika. Sawarika. And shout out to Cassandra Jane Esquerido. Along with that, shout out to Ati Wenelin and to the Faith Terano Natics. Now, before we will continue, uh, I'm going to play this video over here. It is a cover that was taken last week. And good timing that it's about, it's also in the nature, so enjoy, Paul. Yeah, the title is At My, My Worst. Worst. Can I call you, baby? Somebody who can love me 
singing in the Thank back. Thank you, Pa. I was singing in the backstage. Yes. And then before we continue with your wonderful topic, Pa, Engineer Isidro, I want to give a shout out to the following, which is ATC International, ATC Philippines, and to that logo over there, uh, and, shout, and shout out to the CBM perform voice performance academy shout out to my titas in the in Bicol and in Quezon shout out to my tita Jig Jig in Bulacan and shout out to the United Port Everest Philippines and, and the salon yeah in the Philippines so don't forget to check them out well, mga kakampi. shout out to Maria Lisa Miranda Cabuatan Yes, thank you, Pa. <laughs> okay, so, so in the engineer Isidro, we're going to continue with the topic. Okay. And then we're, so, Mami, here, uh, can you tell us something about this, Pa? Yeah. Okay, okay, can I go ahead now? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, we will try to unite the Filipino people as one group to be a modern day Filipino hero. And what is that? You see this black picture here? Uh, your picture will come there. It will, will be posted there. If you support our drive to push back carbon dioxide. So all you've got to do is to like uh, and share uh, my, my uh, Facebook and the website. We have, again, to reconstruct the website. This has now been uh, canceled because uh, for lack of funds. But once this is reset, reset, put back, uh, what will happen is, if you like or share Mahalin Ambayan Foundation for at least 100, at least 100 for every person, you will be uh, given a chance to give your picture and will be put in there beside Pacquiao, beside Mabini, beside Apolinario, beside the greatest of all, Rizal. Yes. Okay. Yes. Add, no um, money, money, Pacquiao. Okay, let's Ate. move on. Yes, let's move on to the next part. Okay, may I just yeah. say something, uh, Faith? Okay, okay. Uh, we are showing this to you not for any political reason. So uh -huh. I, I am here to make it certain that uh, uh, the, the, the spreading of the concept of survival of mankind is independent of any political uh, character or whatever, what have you, or independent of any group. This is just a, a national or international push to make people aware that we are on a borrowed time. We are on a borrowed time. I want you all to spread this through this radio, this television, this uh, sisters group. Spread this. Once you have spread it, there is a little chance that we might be able to win this war against life. For, okay, you listen to me. A little drop of water. My effort is so small. A little drop of water, a little grain of sand makes the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. And so with the minute humble they may be, makes our mighty ages of eternity. If you can share a hundred share or a thousand share, you will be remembered not only by mankind, but God. God, uh, God said, whatever you did to the least of your brethren, You've done it unto me. That's the only service you can give God. Prayers are self-serving. If you have service to God like Mother Teresa, the gate of heaven will be open to you even before you are dead. So spread and share and spread. And I have a, uh, a YouTube channel. Ursua is Kyla Project One. You read that place and put that into heart. Once you do not do that, uh, I have put that one to protect frontliners getting killed by COVID. Frontliners getting killed. While there is no vaccine yet, you have to protect yourself. You have to awaken your immune system so that it will react fast before the virus can multiply. Uh, thank you, Faith. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, okay, so we will move to the next slide so this is the last one yeah that's uh, the last picture. that is the last picture of the authorization and now yeah. and now if 
Before we're going to end this kind of slideshow, uh, we have a question for, for you. So the question is... Close to the mic, please. What? Uh, Closer okay, to the okay. mic. So the question that, that I'm going to ask you is that... Is that... Um, let's see. Wait, but... Uh, can you please explain to us how Manny Pacquiao involves in this project? Ah, okay. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is donating uh, this picture. And, uh, no, you put that back, please. Uh, Manny oh. Pacquiao, put that back. Okay. Okay. Manny Pacquiao is, has given us the authority free so that uh, he is also concerned as a congressman, not only as a congressman, because he's also a citizen of this world. I am a citizen of this world. Your children are citizens of this world. You have to protect Mother Earth. If you cannot, there will be a problem. In fact, uh, while trees are not producing 60% of all the oxygen, it is the algae. Let me just remind you of what uh, was this. Kildare, one of the poets, uh, which actually love the trees. Okay, uh, what is this? I think I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. It, the tree whose angry mouth is pressed against the earth's deploying breast. The tree who looks at God all day, it lifts its chapel arm to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robin in a hair. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Let us not destroy the world. I'm appealing to you. Tell your mom to like it, to share it, and let it. Then maybe we can make civilization continue to survive. I love you all. I love you. Thank you, Faith. You're welcome, Pa. So, engineer, can you give us another rendition of you playing the flute again? Okay, and this time I can make it the best. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hindi talaga ako marunong. <laughs> oh, really? You're so very good at it. You know what? Um, we also have a wood, a, a, a wood flute. But it's deep in the yes, closet. And I don't know how to play it yet. So, you're so very good at playing the flute. Yeah, I, can teach, just teach I, I can teach you how to play this in 15 minutes. If you are a singer, you can already play. In 15 minutes. I can okay, next time. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But but anyway, uh to everybody, I would like to share something that you might need in your life. Uh, uh, you listen to this carefully. This will make you strong. To make this battle that I'm doing, it took me 58 years. Oh. Out of the night that covers me, Blanca said pit from pole to pole. I thanks whatever God made me. For my unconquerable soul. In the full claps of circumstance, I neither winch nor cried aloud in the bludgeoning of chance. My head is bloody but unbowed. Within this life of breath and tears looms but the horror of the grave in that the main as a beer. Find and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how judged by punishment scroll. Jesus is the master of my fate. The Lord is the captain of my soul. Every God's poem, pare pareho, God's na Christian, God's na God's everything. So just have a God and be a good uh, asset of this world. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, Pa, for that wonderful message. So this time it's my turn to sing my song. Okay. I sing with you. Sure, you can sing along with me if you want. So for today. For tonight, I'm going to sing The One That Got Away by Katy Perry. I hope you mga kakampi will enjoy.
On my 18th birthday, we got the same type of shoes. Used to steal your parents' liquor and run to the room. Talk about our future like we had a clue. Never planned that one day I'd be losing you. In another life, I would be your girl. We gave all our promises, be us against the world. In another life, I could make you stay, so I don't have to say you were the one. The one that got away I was June and you were my Johnny Cash Never one without the other We made a pact Sometimes when I miss you I put those records on Someone said you had your thoughts to remove Saw you downtown singing the blues Time to face the music, I'm no longer your muse. But in another life, I would be your girl. We keep all our promises, be us against the world. In another life, I would make you stay. So I don't have to say you were the one that got away, the one that got away. Sorry about that, let's continue. But in another life, I would be your girl. We'd keep all our promises, be us against the world. In another life, I would make you stay. So I don't have to say. The one that got away, the one, the one, the one, the one that got away. I will make you stay, so I don't have. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, Pa. <laughs> Sorry, Pa, that we left. Um, there was like a new convenience or like a technical difficulties. But I hope you mga kakampi will enjoy. I hope you mga kakampi enjoyed. So shout out to Tito Nel Talabera. Let's see. He said shout out to I I Eileen. Eileen Love Lady in Red. Shout mm -hmm. out to Erwena Argulis. Shout out to all the shout outs that 
Tito Neo Talavera is giving. Okay. A shout out. <laughs> Thank you, Pa. Okay, so that's the next. Um, what we're going next? to promote oh, engineer Isidro's uh, social media account. So, well, uh, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Pursue Skyla Project 1. Well, he only got like a video about yeah about like uh, uh one about coronavirus but don't worry don't yes it is post other other videos. educational videos so please subscribe to his channel but thank yeah, you i already subscribing you and mama i don't know if papa already subscribed but anyways don't forget to follow his Facebook, which is Isidro Omali or Suwa. Please follow it pa. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Paterano Official. Please subscribe and please follow, like and follow my Facebook page, which is Fate Oxiano Terano. And please follow my Kumu account, which is Fate Terano. But, and don't if you want to see me do some edits, please check out my gadget channel, which is Plus the Purple Angel. And, and subscribe. My, yeah. Please and subscribe the TikTok in and Purple TikTok. Pastel Angel. Yes, and don't forget to check out my little sister's channel, which is Pinky Puppy. Yay! So that's the social medias that we have right here. So How about mamas? So we're about to, almost about to end our live stream, but before that, uh, if you want like a part two, please comment down below so that we engineer can make a part two. Yes, and so that engineer Isidro Omani or so while we we'll tell time. us about further discussions next, and next topics. Next time, Mama will get a part two. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to promote a song which is Contina Lang. Okay. Maraming tanong ang kumukulo sa king isipan, but nagaganito. At ligtas Ngunit ngayon Nagbago ang lahat At kay hirap ng buhay Ngunit buhay ang pag-asa Makakahinga ng malinis na hangin Dahil sa'yo'y magtatagumpay, babangon tayo. Konti na lang, makakalaya din tayo. Makakamit din natin ang dating sigla, dating saya. Manalig ka Kunti na lang Pagkakapiling din tayo Mapapawitin ang pagod at luha ng nakaraan Kumapit lang, konti na lang. Maraming tanong ang dumukulo sa aking isipan. Ba't nagkaganito? Dati malaya tayo. At ligtas Ngunit ngayon Nagbago ang lahat At kay 
hirap ng buhay Ngunit buhay ang pag-asa Makakahinga ng malutis na hangin Dahil sa'yo'y magtatagumpay Mabangon tayo Konti na lang Tayo Makakamit din natin ang dating sigla, dating saya, manalik ka Okay, to all the viewers and all the listeners, with all my heart, I wish to thank you. Kindly support the sisters group. Kindly, uh, let me just correct. My uh, Facebook is okay. Isidro underscore Ursua does three. Okay, Isidro underscore Ursua does three. Uh, 
Let us spread this, please, please, please. Make this group viral because this is a way of showing the children, your children, that you love them. It's talking about love. If you will not support them now. Thank you very much. Love you all. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Um, we will make sure that we will try to support that, Paul. Uh, thank, thank you. you Paul, for your thank you. Good night. Good night. I will also Good night, support you sometimes when I'm not PC anymore. Okay, so before we are going to end our live stream, I'm going to promote a Leo Awards 2020. Please support this book because this is really important in the ATC. So let's check it out. During this difficult period in our lives, we felt it necessary to tackle the problem facing the live entertainment industry during the time of COVID-19. Oh, to be revived by you. There are more. Thank you very much for this day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Awards. Don't forget to check it out, Pa. So, Engineer Isidro. Hello, Pa. Hello. Hello, Pa. Hello. Okay, so before we are going to uh, ask that question, another question. No, we're not going to ask a question. Uh, Engineer Isidro, my mama has a request. Uh, can you try to play the flute with the uh, Bahai Kubo because she really she likes like that. Mm -hmm. The way how you played that. Hello? 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 Okay, so before we're go before Engineer Isidra is going to perform his last rendition, I am going to, I, I want Shout to promote out. Uh, I want to say, please support all the shows of Best TV Channel 31 online, especially the following, which is my shows, The Sisters, which is this one. Please support uh, it. And read me. Yeah. And uh, please support the Faith the Ukulele Princess, which is every Tuesday, 12 to 1 p.m. And please support the Ninga Spinas Friday group, Ninga Spinas from Monday to Sunday group, Nell and Nell. Director Scott and Sir Bishon Rotarian. And along with that, hello po, Direct Dave, if you are watching yeah, right now, or the replay. And also, hello to Lola, Lolo Steed. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you very much. Love you. Yes. And also, I want to promote the Lodi ng Bayan. That's
that's my show MB Saturday Night Love Live Jamming and more. I cannot mention them all because we are running out of time. Once again, Engineer Sid, for thank you. Thank Mom. you, Pa, Engineer Sid, for spending enough time educate, educating us about Skyla Project. We learned a lot from you, Pa. So before we're going to end this live stream, um, Engineer Isidro, can you can you give us your last rendition? Because my mama requested you to play Bahai Kubo on your flute. Thank you. Go ahead, Pa. Sige nga, sige nga. Di ako marunong. Oh, mama ya, correct mo yung kwan, yung Facebook ko. Dapat Isidro underscore Ursua. That's three. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Pop, for the wonderful rendition. So that's all for the for today, mga kakampi. Thank you, Pop, once again. Ma'am, correction lang, correction. Ma'am, correction. Faith, correction. Uh, my Facebook is Isidro underscore Ursu. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's correct. Hey, thank you, Pop. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. That's all right. No again, problem. Yeah. No problem. Once again, thank you po, Engineer Ursu, uh, Engineer Isidro, for spending enough time with us today, for letting us learn a lot of educational information about, about like, climate change and something like that. Thank you yeah. po. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Good night. Good we night. Hope, yeah. Good, Good night. night po. And so, before we will end, shout out to Holy Sky. And thank you once again, Tito Nel Talavera. Yeah, and thank you for watching, Tita Marietta Retunza. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, yes. Pa, mga kakampi, for watching. It's yeah. nice to have you guys Thanks. here, Pa. Yeah. Um, once again, see you all next week on Friday. Thank you, Papa and Mama, for supporting us in yeah. sisters. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.